Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to finally show you the attachments for Rotary Tool that I use at the moment. Uh, many of you asked me what I use, what I could recommend. So I wanted to show you uh, this today. There are many bits and attachments available. So I know it might be confusing and a bit overwhelming to choose something, especially in the beginning. And when you're on a limited budget and you can't just buy everything. So I totally understand it. And I thought I could maybe help you uh, choose which ones you could try out first and tell you what I use and how I use it and what I use it for. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy watching this. Uh, remember to comment down below any questions that you might have or if I missed something and you would like to know a bit more. And again, this is just my personal opinion. This is not a comprehensive um, video guide to all of the attachments out there. Um, it will be just what I use at the moment and what I found the best for uh, my current needs and what I think might be useful for you too. So yeah, let's jump right into the video and I hope you will enjoy watching it. <laughs> So you probably already know that these bits are excellent and very helpful and Rotary Tool is personally to me one of the most important tools that you could get um, because it helps you with smaller jobs for sure. It speeds up the work incredibly and because there are so many attachments available you can do so much and achieve beautiful results and beautiful finishes high polished or a satin finish matte finish so yeah that, there's a lot that can be done with these bits and attachments and you can also use them to reduce metal to clean the metal to clean and remove fire scale which is very annoying when it appears so these are very helpful with that and there are a few different brands there are a few different types of attachments so this first group includes attachments that can be used for cleaning fire scale removal pre-polishing and you know pretty much preparing your metal for next stages they are all really good and there are also very very abrasive ones that can be used for removing bigger amounts of metal when you for example were sewing something out but missed some spaces and you've sewn out leaving a little bit too much metal you can remove it by using these last bits which are excellent for this and then you can use other ones to clean and file that space and make it better for next stages. Second group includes mostly pre-polishing and polishing attachments, which are excellent for achieving this high polished surface. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty simple <laughs> and pretty much self-explanatory. They are really, really good. Here we have attachments that are pretty much little tiny mops, um, different ones. So you can play around and see which ones are best for you and for the compounds that you'll be using. And they are used for uh, polishing and, you know, working on your metal using different compounds. In this group, we have attachments that are used for achieving matte or setting finish on most metals. They are really good. I personally really love the green one in the middle. I use it to achieve satin finish on some of my pieces and I've been really, really happy with it. But the other ones are excellent too. And this group just includes attachments that have uh, sanding paper, discs and, you know, they are used for also removing metal, cleaning, sanding and preparing your uh, metal for next jobs. I personally really love these silicon polishers. They are amazing and I have no idea why I waited so long before I tried them. I have four different ones. So I have a white one which is the most abrasive and it wears out really fast. So when you're purchasing them, usually purchase more of the abrasive ones and you don't need as much of 
um, the polishing ones because the, the medium and fine ones because they are not wearing as fast but yeah the white ones are the most abrasive then there are black ones then I have blue ones which are really good for like polishing and then after that the pink ones which give like high fine shine and that's really good and also with these wheels include pumice wheels which are perfect for um, pieces that already have stones set in them so when you're working on bezels for example and they are very good because they are gentle with the stone obviously do not run them across the stone but if you happen to work on the bezel they are really good to ensure that you're not going to damage the stone that's already been set in <laughs> One of my favorites are also these uh, 3M abrasive wheel, wheels, um, bristle wheels, <laughs> um, because they, first of all, there are many different grids. So you can start from the coarse one and go through medium up to very fine one. And sometimes with very tiny pieces, you could finish all the stages using these little uh, thingies. They are really good and they are excellent when you combine them with other tools. So yeah, they. I would say this is a staple and you should definitely try them. I love them. Them combined with uh, silicone wheels, combined with sanding paper, and then mops and um, compounds. Mm, absolutely perfect combo and you don't really need anything else if you get really good at using those you can achieve amazing amazing results <laughs> and the rotary tool I'm using is by Fordham it's a SR series and it's been really really good I love it and it's really good quality when looking for rotary tools usually check with the, these good reputable brands first there are many many inexpensive options available as well i know little sometimes sells um cordless actually portable uh, rotary tool which was tested by kim from make it kim today and it was very good and it works so you are definitely able to find inexpensive options but if you're looking into professional equipment and want to have something that will last you for a long time then for example Dremel which is a cheaper option is a really good choice I used Dremel for a very long time before I got um, for them and now I'm using for them and I would never never look back especially because you're using the um, yes <laughs> because you're using the pedal for the um, controlling the speed so yeah that's absolutely great feature and I love it so yeah that's what I'm using <laughs> now where to buy them so it might be tempting to purchase them on Amazon or eBay and I mean they aren't really bad especially when there are bigger um, chunks like bigger lots of same type of um, attachments that you can purchase uh, but I would definitely start with more reputable source and safer <laughs> source because one you will have a really good quality product and that will show you exactly how this attachment works and you will know exactly what results you can expect from it and obviously it will be better quality and also yeah it's just much better for you to try with that and you can buy smaller quantities first so you can experiment and see which ones are best for you Rio Grande has lots of them same with Coxon Gold um, cousins so yeah yeah and also on amazon they are also selling them on amazon i would be careful with you know chinese um replacements um because they might not be as good and you cannot be sure what they are made with in these cases you know exactly what they are made with and you know that they are safer and the material you use you know everything about them they, it, it's transparent whereas with these cheap uh, ones you 
you can't be sure what's being used to produce them and how harmful uh, they might be essentially for you and the environment. So yeah, yeah, I would definitely recommend buying from these sources and these shops. And as for the prices, they aren't very expensive. So definitely when you want to just try them out and buy a few pieces first, you can do it for not a lot of money. But yeah, they aren't super cheap because they are <laughs> like very useful tools. So they do have their price. But yeah, check it out with your shop in your country and I'm sure that you will be able to find something for yourself. And let me know if you tried them. I'm really curious to see. I'm really curious to hear your favorite attachments. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, as always, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. There is a long post about these attachments on my Patreon. So if you're curious, head on there and you can check it out when you become a Patreon. And there's always a bit more um, information on my Patreon. So yeah, if you'd like to see that, I really encourage you to go check it out. And it would be amazing if you considered becoming a Patreon. You can be a Patreon for just a single time, for one month, or you can become a Patreon for a few months. It's completely up to you. And there are different tiers, so you can choose how much money you want to pay. And also you can cancel it anytime you want. It's completely up to you, but your help helps me produce these videos and do research, buy new tools. So that would be amazing if you considered it. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.